So I want to talk a little bit about the value of consistency and intensity and kind of the harmonious relationship between the two as you are doing your degree at Western Governors. And this is particular for people who are trying to accelerate. So whether you're doing a master's like I did in the six month block um, or, you know, a bachelor's degree within a year, um, whatever accelerated is for you. So stay tuned and I will break this down for you. Okay, so for the first part of this, I want to talk about what it means to be consistent. For me, what was really important before I even jumped into the program was to understand what I could actually achieve within a given week. So every week I was trying to be consistent with a kind of a range of how much I was going to accomplish because I wanted to complete in six months about an assignment or two was what I needed to do in order to complete that goal. Now there were there was some flexibility built in and I would always suggest building in flexibility because there may be a week where you get sick or you just really have a hard time motivating yourself. So that's why I say give yourself a range. And so within a week, I was able to say, okay, I could dedicate one or two days a week to doing WGU, given the fact that I also had many other jobs and a lot going on in my life. I designated a one day during the weekend um, and sometimes the next day of the weekend part of it so not the full so let's say a Saturday and part of a Sunday for me I avoided to do it doing my assignments or the learning material within the weekday evenings because I was working all week and I just found that I wasn't able to perform very well if I was tired what I did was generally I started my assignment actually the night before so that would be the Friday night and I didn't do a lot I did very low energy low commitment activities so I would open up my template I would get it ready by putting in my categories I would also um, read a little bit about the material that I was going to be writing about the next day. So I would spend maybe half an hour the night before. And then on the Saturday, I would dedicate a certain amount of time. Now at the beginning of the program, I wasn't really used to doing that much writing and I didn't really know my flow. So I gave myself the full day and I generally took the full day. Of course, I had breaks. But as I got better and better at writing quickly and efficiently, I was able to reduce the amount of page numbers. So at the beginning of the term, I was writing about 10 to 15 pages, um, and I was including a lot more research literature to back up my claims and my opinions. Um, I reduced that, and I went to about 8 to 10 pages for a lot of my papers. And even further on in my degree, I was doing sometimes around six to eight pages. So I was able to knock down the amount of hours on that Saturday to about, you know, four to five hours for a paper. Now it wasn't four to five hours straight because that would be a lot of intense concentration, but it was generally moments of kind of full on flow mode in the zone and then doing, taking some breaks. Now some people are probably familiar with Pomodoro method where you write for a block of time, let's say 20 minutes, take a five minute break, write for 20 minutes, take a five minute break, and you do that repeatedly and then take a longer break after four chunks. Um, I used to do that for a little while. Um, that can keep you really focused. But what's really good is to understand your workflow for the week and maintain that consistency through the whole program. The intensity came in where I was trying to complete my assignments in that, in that day. So there were times in the day where I really just was tired. And what I would do is when I started to get tired, I would decide when I was going to take a break. But before I took that break, I would push myself a little bit harder. So try to think of it like when you're working out and your body's getting tired from doing, let's say, bicep curls. And then if you were tired and you just drop them and then you're done, you wouldn't really get those last reps in that really help kind of build muscle or strength or whatever. You need those extra couple in those moments where you're really tired. So for me, I really took that mindset through the whole program. So when I kind of got a little bit tired, I would say, well, let me at least finish this paragraph. Now, for those who have kind of like a chaotic mind and just mind where they get really in their head and they think, oh, I don't want to do this. That might be really challenging because they just get really frustrated. But for me, I saw it more of a game like, okay, I'm tired, but I, but I really want to just finish this last little bit. And then I push through and then I would take a break and I would reward, reward myself. So that reward after that kind of pressurized situation made the reward, the break or whatever I was going to do more rewarding, essentially. I did this a lot near the end of the program, this intensity where, I, you know, I was consistent throughout my whole program, generally one or two assignments a week. There was 
kind of a point at which I actually skipped a couple weeks, which meant that I knew I had to make them up somewhere and I had to make them up at the end of the degree. I really didn't want to have to drag this degree to the to another term because I really would only be dragging a month. I would may, maybe need an extra month, not the whole six months. So I just didn't want to pay another term. And also I was starting a new job in the new year and I didn't really want to be carrying over Western governors starting this new job. So I just wanted to close everything off. So what I did was I, I actually shifted my whole setup from doing the weekends to the weekdays their weeknights because I was still working and I would wait until it was dark so I would finish work eat kind of relax and then when it started to get dark that was my cue of, okay I'm gonna put in a couple hours of work as I was doing the work I would set the goal in that moment so you know if I had an annotated bibliography if I didn't think it was at all possible to do it all in one night I would set a goal but to extend it a bit so if my goal was to finish half of it, I would say, you know what, I'm going to finish half plus an extra page or two. And so you need to stretch yourself a little bit in order to build intensity in order to push yourself. And so I would do this day every single night and it kind of compounded. So as I got better at better at doing this, stretching myself a little bit more, okay, instead of one additional page, I'm going to do a page and a half more the next time. I would do that to the point by which I was gaining so much momentum that I didn't really want to stop myself. So I was just working until midnight and I was working so hard and so focused and so concentrated that I was able to achieve, what I was able to achieve in a month was probably more than I had done in the first whole half of the program. So your goal is to figure out mechanisms for you to get to that place where you really wanna put in that intensity if you need to, or if you want to. I would argue if you're on the accelerated path, you're gonna to need to do this at points in your degree. Or if you wanna do this just because you wanna get stuff done, then practice it. Just set out a task of building that intensity and just try for it. Now, I would say that there are moments where you do need to lay off the work and just, if you're really crashing and burning out, then you might benefit from taking rest and taking a week off or taking a couple days or whatever. But don't lose sight of the fact that you have a goal and the goal is to finish in six months or one year and you're gonna do it. And make people accountable with you. So, you know, I had, a partner and I had a, um, a friend that knew about my goal and I would get them to check in with me and ask me and I would tell them what my goal is for the week and I would really try to help them motivate me to get this done as well. So don't feel like you have to do it on your own. Of course you have your mentor and your instructor but at the end of the day you really want to prove to yourself that this is possible and it is. So give it a go and let me know how that goes if you are using Pomodoro or what other techniques you're using in order to keep yourself focused, motivated, and pushing along. Okay, hopefully that helps and I'll see you in the next video.